everybody. The Lord be with you. Fantastic start to this morning. Well, I'm sorry I can't be here this morning. I'm out of school, um, but we're going to carry on with worship and I've got it all prepared for you. What I'd like you to do now in your classes is I'd like you to make sure you've got your candle and I'd like you to light your candle and then I'd like you to pause the video so that in your classes you can say our school prayer together. After that, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. Right, well, I'm back. Now, you might remember um, over the past few years and so on, and particularly when Miss Walker was here, we did a whole load of work all about what was called the big story, which is the big story of the Bible. And that was learning about how the Bible, although it's made up of lots and lots of different books, actually there's a big story that goes all the way through the Bible. And there's lots of different concepts that go with that. The very first concept is all about God and about how God started the world. And the idea of God is really, really difficult one to understand. But it's a good one to think about sometimes. And I'm going to put something, I think, later on uh, in the hall. You'll see something on the big questions board with some questions about God. We're going to start looking at those concepts of the uh, Bible again. And we're going to look at different ones in worship times. And you can see on the screen I put in front of you that the, lif the different freeze frames we did when we had a big story day the other day. Today, I'm going to start off with not the very first concept, which is God, but the very second concept, which is all about creation. So the story of creation. It's the very first story in the Bible. And the very first few words in the Bible start off with in the beginning. And then it talks about how God created everything. I was going to read you the story today from my uh, Storyteller Bible. I've got it there. You can see the pictures uh, that are on there. And um, that's the story of the, bi of the creation as it's read in the Bible. Uh, I'm actually going to show you uh, next a short video with some images to go with it, which tells you all about the story of creation. So sit back, listen carefully, watch the images, and enjoy this video hearing about how God created the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. Darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovered above the surface of the waters. God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called this the sky. Evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land, and the waters seas. God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with plants, trees, and trees that produce seeds that grow fruit. And God saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the third day. Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. God made two great lights, the sun and the moon. Then he painted the night sky with stars and saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind. God saw that it was good. On the same day, God said, 
Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals. So God created human beings in his own image, a male and a female. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. I have given you everything that has life. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Evening passed, and morning came, marking the sixth day. On the seventh day, God had finished his creation, so he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy. So that's the story of creation, a pretty amazing story. And it's pretty amazing that God created a world and then gave it to people on earth to look after. It's such a special place. We're gonna have a prayer now to think a little bit about the beauty of God's creation and to be thankful for that creation and to help us look after that creation as best we can. It's a quiet prayer and it's gonna be a prayer that's gonna be on a video and that's gonna play now. So I'd like you to put your hands together, please. Like, you know, I don't want you to close your eyes because I want you to look at the screen and I want you to watch this prayer video. Lots of photographs to look at. Teachers, you may want to read some of the words out um, as are on the screen as they come up in the prayer because the children won't be able to read all of them, the younger ones anyway. Hands together. Let's bow our heads and let's have a short time of prayer. <laughs> Thank you for taking part in that prayer. Uh, that brings us to the end of our worship on the concept of creation. Pretty amazing. Next week, we're going to look at the concept of the fall. And the fall is going to tell us all about how God's creation, which was totally perfect, 
isn't anymore and the reasons why that is that's for next week though for now have a really good day um, i'll probably be back in school a little bit later on so i'll say hello to you all then but have a good day work really hard and go in the light and peace of christ now is a good time to turn your candles off